Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me tutorial type video. Um, I thought I would share two new things. I wanted to demo the new Natasha Denona Glam Palette, which is amazing. And then also the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So I thought I'd first, um, I'll go over the skin, my skincare routine that I used this morning so that you can know like what I used. Um, I've been using kind of almost this entire lineup like pretty much every morning. The Holy Frog Milky Cleanser, which is, it's become like a holy grail. I absolutely love that cleanser. Um, I did some gua sha this morning because I was feeling a little bit puffy. Um, I'm still using the New Face. Um, not every morning, but like four mornings. And then the Glow Pro like three nights a week. And then after, um, then I used the Pixi Glow Mist. I'm just trying to get through it. It's not really that fantastic. Um, back to using my SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. So I patted that on afterwards. Um, then... The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate Matrix. This is really lovely. It's very hydrating and smoothing for under the eye. It's not life-changing, but it's nice. Um, then the Clarins Double Serum. I've kind of been on a kick with this. Really loving it. And um, the SPF I used was the Murad City Skin Age Defense, uh, which is really lovely. It has like a nice peach tone, so it helps to like even out the skin tone slightly. I also wanted to share, so I did my full review on my blog of the Necessaire deodorant. So I will link that below. If you've been wondering my thoughts, I've been testing it um, long enough where I feel like I can give like a thorough review. So I will leave that um, review below so you can go over there and read that. And all right, let's get started. The Born This Way, I am wearing the shade Sawan. And so now this is, this is coverage. This is um, matte, a very matte formula, very long wearing. This is different than the NARS matte, which is like a soft matte, like literally the name is perfect because it is a soft matte. This on the other hand is a strong matte um, really great coverage, lasts all day long. So this is definitely closer to like a Lancome Tenty doll or yeah, I think of like something like that, which to me is like a really strong matte foundation um, that lasts all day. And I don't find this pulls on any dry patches when I first apply it. Um, if I do get dehydrated throughout the day, I do notice a little pulling around my chin, but not too much. I think that if you had dry skin, this is not really for you. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you don't want a super matte foundation if you have dry skin. Um, so this is not really for you. This is for more combination, um, oily skinned people and um, definitely lasts all day long. Like this is a really long wearing um, foundation, which I love and pretty significant coverage. At first I thought it was more like medium full, but it definitely is more medium, I think, but you can build it up. Like I don't really need a concealer. I feel like it covers everything I need it to cover. I went ahead and did my brows and um, primer, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and my Hourglass Brow. All right, let's get on to the eyes. Um, it is, let me bring my brushes up here. It is such a good palette, such, so it's got like a nice mix of shimmer, matte, light, dark, everything. Like more cool toned. I will link the blog post that I have below where I did swatches of everything. Um, and so that you can head over there and see that, what am I gonna do? I mean, I literally have just been like picking whatever because I just love them all. Um, I think I'm gonna do this light one here. Is that right? Yeah, this inner corner. It's like it says, it has like little um, names of like where you should put it on the lid. Um, I just, you know, go wherever I want. This is like inner corner, but I like it all over the lid. Um, there is little to no fallout. The shimmer is 
magnificent. It blends beautifully. Um, just, it's just stunning. It's what I've come to know, know from her. Uh, also, I find that the palette is a lot more affordable. It's still 15 shadows. Um, I think it's probably a little bit smaller maybe in weight, um, but her like Biba palette and the gold palette are like over $100. I think this was 65, so really good deal. I'm gonna use this matte um, color right here in the crease. I'm gonna keep it like really cool tone today. Sometimes I'll do like a color like this on the lid and then there's like a warmer crease that I'll mix with it, which looks really pretty. I mean, everything blends together. That's the amazing thing. Like all the colors go together. I know we don't need another eyeshadow palette. I know we do not. And by we, I mean all of us. But if you have been looking at this one or you're intrigued to get a new fall palette because 2020 is the year of Blah, and you're just like, I need a new fall palette to pet me up. This is the palette. This is the palette. It is, oh my gosh, just, I mean, all the colors blend so beautifully. They're so easy to, and there's like enough pigment, but not too much. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you're not going to spend all day blending things out because you put too much on. Um, it's really such an easy palette, um, to use. Okay. I added some liner. I did this dark brown color in the middle with a angle brush. Where did I just put my angle brush? Oh, it's this one, um, by Zoeva. I just kind of press it along the lash line. I'll link this, um, lash brush below or liner brush below because it is fantastic. And then added my Marc Jacobs at Lashed Mascara and... It's the most gorgeous, the most gorgeous palette. I mean, can you even? I know some of you have already picked it up because um, you messaged me, like I shared it on Instagram using my Sicily um, Blur Expert Powder just to warm up the complexion. I shared it on my Instagram stories and many of you were like, I already bought it. And I'm like, good for you. We can all use it together. Um, and then, I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzing powder, which I love. If you are fair like me and you really need a good bronzing powder that is not, um, I didn't need this brush. I just like clean these brushes. And I didn't let that brush dry. So it is a little wet, yuck. Um, if you like a, if you need a bronzing powder for really fair skin, that just is a hint. It's a hint of bronze. This is the bronzer. I mean, it's so beautiful and um, glides on effortlessly. It's matte. Um, it's just not, it's foolproof because you really can't make a mistake because it's so sheer. And then where am I going next? Oh, um, I pulled out my, fortunately this isn't available anymore, my Bobbi Brown palette um, from the Nordstrom Anniversary sale last year. I know it's like annoying sometimes, but I do really love using the stuff that I have. Um, this is very similar to the palette she launched this year. I like to just use the highlighter in it just a little bit on the cheeks. And then I do love that like light pink blush is really beautiful. And then for the lips, I'm actually using a new lip that I just ordered and received um, by Tarte, which I've heard really good things about these um, lip colors. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but it actually is quite significant in person. Um, let me see here. There we go. Okay. Then, oh, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. Um, I ordered a few and I swatched them on my Insta stories. Like I said before, Instagram is a really great place to follow me because I share, I just share like off the cuff stuff all the time. Like new things, new arrivals, new beauty launches. Like I'm testing stuff, swatching stuff. Cause it's like to film a YouTube video, it's so much longer and involved. So the Insta stories is always easy for me to just throw up quick stuff. Um, so I love Orchid. 
I got orchid, rose, and grapefruit. And they're just like a solid, um, really lightweight lipstick, but they feel like a bomb with insane coverage. So that is, so if you really struggle with finding a lip color, it doesn't like dry out your lips and you're like, well, it's great to use a balm, but like I need some coverage because I still want to be wearing a lip color. These are exactly what you need. Oh my gosh. Look, do you see how like juicy my lips look? That's why they're called juicy lips. <laughs> it looks. Now listen, they're not going to last all day like some um, lipsticks because there's a lot of slip to them. Oh my gosh. It feels so good. Uh, because there's a lot of slip to it, it's going to move around and definitely you'll need to reapply. It won't last all day long, but it's still more coverage than you get with a typical balm and they are gorgeous. They feel amazing. And in fact, um, Tarte is participating in LTK Day. I don't know if you, if you follow me on the Like to Know It app, they do a um, in-app only sales from time to time and they're doing one this coming um, Sunday through Monday or Sunday through Tuesday. So I'll be sharing all that stuff over on my Instagram. They'll like, there's tons of brands that are participating in this. So basically if you shop through the app, you can pick up the promo code and you can get the discount on all the retailers that are participating. I think it's like Express, Abercrombie, Tarte, Elemis, Colleen Rothschild, Madewell, so many good brands. But I'll be sharing more details of that over on my Instagram and uh, that's it. This is the final look. Guys, this palette, I'm not one to like push and be like, you need this, you need this, you need this. But I mean, it's, uh, it is the real deal. It is worth every single penny. And I have a feeling you're going to get a lot of wear out of it. Um, and also these juicy lips, they're uh, fantastic. All right. I'll link everything that I talked about down below and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.